about a year ago i sat for my final exam to wrap up my computer science degree i survived and you can do it too <laughs> looking back i made some choices that really paid off choices that went beyond the typical lecture room lectures and that is why i'm making this video to share with you some alternative learning paths that i took that made a huge difference aside from the usual CSC learning path where you learn the computer science courses. Hi, my name is Ambe Sese and I'm an aspiring data scientist with years of web development experience and a recent graduate from the University of Cape Coast where I offered Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. PSA, this is not a video to show you a shortcut approach. <laughs> is that all? But also, I will compile everything I'll talk about in this video in a document and leave a link in the description. I'll highlight a few of them, beginning with first year, second semester. The first computer science course that really introduced me to the computer science as a, a course <laughs> was CSC 102 which was titled programming techniques and as someone who thought computer science was HTML, CSS, JavaScript all about software this course gave me a complete mind shift I didn't know CS was full of mathematics it felt like a complete mind overhauling everything was taken out of my mind and new things were being put inside in this course we were introduced to basic programming concepts like variables, functions, conditional statements and the two major representations for solving problems using code, which is algorithms and then pseudocode. Mind you, at this time, I didn't know that algorithms was also a full course by itself, which I will later find out <laughs> in, I think, third year. Now, the explanations given in this class were okay until we wrote the first test. Right after that, I quickly started searching online for courses or maybe any video that could help me get different sides of the, the programming story because it was becoming unbearable. And that was where I came across a video by Free Code Camp titled Introduction to Programming and Computer Science. I basically watched the video and made notes in a separate book so that I simply compared the notes that I make in class and the explanations and then the note that I also wrote whilst I was watching this video. Even though I learned most of the things from the lectures, the video gave me much more information and also helped me really understand programming, which was needed to complete the entire computer science program. <laughs> then came second year, first semester, which I took an alternative route for database management one and two. I think it was a course by Nestle Academy on YouTube. Big shout out to them. And I think they have a complete playlist on that. You can check it out. So just like the first video, I, I watched this video as well. And I made notes and then practiced most of the concepts that were explained in the video on my own. If it was on SQL, I made sure I practiced everything that they are teaching in the video together with whatever I was learning in class. Then the next programming course that I took, I think within the same second year was a semester full of C++. They say life is harder, but C++ is harder, harder. Anyway, the alternative course that I took was, oh wait, I think I had this textbook from the library, which explained the concept very well. It was a C++ textbook. If I'm able to find it, I'll include it and also i also get got some videos to support the uh, programming journey in c++ on youtube then in second year second semester going into third year i took a lot of alternative routes with algorithms and data structures here a friend one of my course mates introduced me to cx50 which is Harvard's introduction to computer science it is an entry level course taught by david j marlan at the time CS50X, it teaches students how to think algorithmically and also solve problems efficiently. And the topics that were treated included abstraction, algorithms, data structures, 
concepts like encapsulation, resource management, security, software engineering, and even web development. Now, the next course which I remember I also took an alternative route for was Java, which is Programming Problem and Analysis 2. And it was a course on programming, but this time we implemented everything in Java. In this course, I watched a video by Omar Coat on Java programming to understand the basic concepts and also implemented them in an inventory management system which we built as a semester project, which was basically a group work. So we had a, a lot of good members on our team and were able to finish it up. But without knowing Java, you can't really contribute to such a project. Then in my final year, Introduction to AI was a course that I took an alternative route for. It was basically English in mathematics form and in one notebook. We started reading, we were reading, not knowing we were going to write mathematical statements to represent those English sentences that we were reading. <laughs> then I remember another course that I took an alternative route for was numerical analysis. And during this time, it was a playlist which was like solutions to the various examples and scenarios. You learn it today, tomorrow you've forgotten it. You need to come back to those videos to understand them. And also, after a week, you need to catch up with the pace of the lectures. And it, it was fun. This particular course was full of math. Another course that I took an alternative route for was Introduction to Compilers. Passing this course, I would say, was powered by my Indian friends. Introduction to Compilers is um, it's a systematic course, just like numerical analysis. You need to understand the concept and then you build it up from there, right? So I had this online course where it was a, a series of videos to understand each topic and it was taught by somebody in India who understood this concept and they were explaining them. So you get some from one content creator, you get some from another and then you combine. Then came the Odogu one minute of respect to this course operations research i also did this on youtube it was a playlist by i think young wang and what i want to say is that this particular course it requires a lot of practice to understand and it is it's only this course that you can set up a business you have an instant demand or a request to supply goods <laughs> based on a certain demand and yeah, I still expected to make profits and even maximize the profit. Uh, so I think it was fun. The course by Young Wang really helped me out. Yeah, so here we are. I made it through CS. Not just by sitting in lectures alone, but by actively kind of seeking knowledge outside, wherever I could find it. And if there's one thing that I want you to really take away from this video I'm making, it will be that... No, wait. Let me thank my Indian friends one more time. They are really sharing knowledge from wherever they are. So big shout out to my Indian friends. Please keep sharing the knowledge with us on this side. Now back to what I was saying. Yeah, you don't have to rely solely on what's handed to you in class to like go through the computer science program and succeed. The truth is that no single professor no single textbook, no single course will give you everything that you need. But the good news here is that there are endless resources out there waiting for you. They are already on the internet. You would have to find them. Like I mentioned in this video, we have Free Code Camp, they have Nestle Academy all on YouTube, we have CS50 also on YouTube, and then some random YouTube playlists that you can come across, which are all filled in the gaps when which all filled the gaps where uh, most of my lectures couldn't fix those gaps. Was it easy? Obviously no. <laughs> there were nights that I had to throw a laptop out the window because I was trying to fix a bug. And sometimes you even question if you were really cut for this, like can you really do this? But every time I was facing a challenge, I had to just rely solely on YouTube and then those textbooks. And maybe another person explaining it differently could help me figure it out. And because they have been through it, you just learn from them because you are also going to go through it as well. So if you are sitting there right now, struggling with a course, feeling like 
you are barely keeping up maybe you are running another business on the side whilst reading your computer science i think you can do it because i i was able to and if you are watching this video just keep digging keep searching keep learning and like i mentioned earlier i've put together a document with all these courses and resources and i'll put the link in the description just grab it go through it use it and wherever you are go crash that degree <laughs> now tell me one course that you are currently struggling with in your computer science journey drop it in the comments and maybe myself or someone else also watching this video who is an expert in computer science can point you in the right direction just know that you've got this now go build something and i'll see you in the next one